TLC's hit show 90 DVNC about international love stories is mostly famous for the overly dramatic and villainous cast members such as Anfisa, Daniel and Lewis. As couples try to make sense of each other's customs, culture and motivations for getting married, conflicts often arise. A lot of couples never make it to the end of the ale, while others seem to be truly happy with their partners. After getting married, many couples decided to raise a family together. While some didn't plan their pregnancies, most wanted to have children. As seven years have passed since season one, some couples have more than one kid already. Ellen and Curlium Cox Season 1's Ellen and Curlium remain one of the most beloved 90 d Fiancé couples as they have one of the longest standing relationships on the show. They were both just teenagers when they first met and they tied the knot in a Mormon temple. In 2017, Curlium gave birth to their first child, Liam. They are currently expecting another child. Curlium is about to pop any day now, she is at month 8 already. Evelyn and Justin Hallis Evelyn and Justin Hallis joined 90 d Fiancé in Season 2 after meeting in Colombia at a rugby match. After spending one week together, they decided to give their relationship a shot despite all the odds. The Colombian beauty then moved to the States. Despite all of the hardships with Justin's family, the couple managed to settle down and create a family together. They welcomed a baby boy in September 2020 and named him Nathan. Danny and Amy Frischmuth 90 d Fiancé is teeming with difficult people, but Danny and Amy Freshmuth were both total sweethearts from the get-go. After meeting on a Bible trip in Australia, Danny, who is from South Africa, decided to leave everything behind and move to Pennsylvania to be with Danny. Many were skeptical of the couple as they decided to remain abstinent until they tied the knot. The happy couple proved that doubting Thomas is wrong, though. They have one of the biggest families of all 90D Fiancé alums. They have two daughters, Anna and Willow, and a son, Jed. Kalani Fagata and Asuelu Pula Kalani and Asuelu joined the show in Season 6. They were off on a rocky start, so fans didn't expect them to make it. Things moved faster than they expected, though. Kalani realized she was pregnant after visiting Samoa for the second time. They have two children, Oliver and Kennedy. According to Screen Rant, they are currently working on their relationship. While there is still a lot of room for improvement, things are no longer as turbulent as they used to be. Emily and Sasha Ladin Fans met Emily and Sasha Ladin in Season 7. They stood out as one of the most unforgettable couples of the season as Sasha admitted to still being married when he started talking to Emily. Fast forward a few years and the happy couple is living together in the States. They welcomed their son David in 2019, but according to ET Online, they're not ready to have another baby just yet. After all, Sasha has two more children from his previous marriage and he is not too excited about being the main caregiver to little David while Emily works. Elizabeth Pothast and Andrei Kastrovet Elizabeth met her future husband Andre from Moldova in Ireland, where he worked as a bouncer. They instantly became one of the most liked couples of the season as they seemed to genuinely like each other, unlike Lewis and Molly, for example. Paula and Ross Mayfield Paula and Ross are one of the most famous 90 d Fiancé couples simply because they were featured on the show for more than one season. Everybody knows their story. Paula moved to Oklahoma City to be with Ross, but she soon realized she would rather live in Miami where there is a large Latino community and more job opportunities for her. A few conflicts and arguments later, the couple settled down in Florida. In 2019, they welcomed little Axel into their lives. Paul and Karine Stale Paul and Karine's love story was featured on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days. It's been full of ups and downs, at one point they even had restraining orders issued against each other. Since Karine had their first baby, Pierre, in 2019, they could no longer just walk away from each other, so they decided to try and make it work. Just a few months ago, they welcomed their second son, Ethan. Lauren and Alexei Bravarnik Unlike most other couples, Lauren and Alexei never had any major rocks in their relationship. Anytime there was drama, it was resolved in an efficient way. The fan-favorite couple is already expecting their second baby. Lauren gave birth to their first son, Shay Joseph, in April 2020. Ariella Weinberg and Biniam Shibre 
One of the newest additions to the 90 Day Fiancé's extended family is baby A.V., Ariella and Biniam's baby boy. While many fans weren't fans of their relationship, nobody can deny that their kid is absolutely adorable. Ariella moved to Ethiopia to be with Biniam. They were one of those couples where cultural differences got in the way the most. It seems that the couple is better than ever now, though, as they regularly post wholesome family pics on Instagram. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.